Hey guys, um, I'm going to teach you how to do show style, um, showtime style on Photoshop. So, open Photoshop, find your image you want to use, which I'm using a picture of Karen because she's so pretty, um, and then do, go to file new, and find your, um, image size for your photo and make it the new image size for the blank document. Okay. Go to your bucket tool. Go up here. Click on pattern. Okay. Now find your pattern that you want to use. I'm going to use one that I've already used. Okay. So there's your basic pattern that I'm using. Now go to your brushes go down and find your sun vector brush if you don't have any you can download them at deviantart.com you just search sun vector brushes for photoshop um... okay sorry sometimes brushes take a while to load if you use photoshop a lot you know what i mean hold on all the way back up and find them because they're being so stubborn today okay so you want to find a sun vector that best fits your picture so I'm going to use this one and then I really need to resize it because it's so big um, okay that looks about right okay so then you pick your color well it's automatically going to be white okay so now you go to your bucket tool again find the pattern you want okay and then oops layer new layer okay then oops okay so how am I going to do this? Um, uh, uh, no. <laughs> um, then you go to, it's supposed to work. Okay, just do a color. Um, let's say purple. Okay, so, hmm. It's being a little mean, huh? step backwards. Sorry guys, I messed it up. I really don't want to go re-record. Okay. So, go to pattern. Find the pattern you want. I'm not going to be stupid this time and use a stupid one. Hold on one moment. Okay guys, I'm back. Sorry, my sister needed to open the door. Okay, so pick a pattern that will not, that does not have any white on it. Otherwise, it won't be pretty. Okay, so how about this one? Oops, that has white on it. Okay, it's so just a plain old ugly yellow thing. Now go back to your brush. Find your special sun vector click on it okay so now go to your bucket tool again go to the pattern you really want and um, go to your right click on your little crop tool thing and click on elliptical marquee tool and circle out your right click click on fill a foreground color oops I did I do fill color go to like red or something okay can't 
so I'll deselect. Okay. So now, do every one that you want to use. Like, I'm going to do every other one. Might take a while, but it'll work. Um, okay. Okay, so now get another pattern and go back and do all of those ones again. All the purple leftover ones. Unless you want it to just be purple, that's totally fine. Okay. Okay, now go to um stroke that okay now go to your picture oops do go to your picture go to your polygon lasso tool if you don't know where that is it's right here okay outline your beautiful site model Every site model is beautiful in their own way. Okay. <laughs> Listen from Taylor. Okay, I know Harp. Okay, Harper and I aren't really friends in real life, but like we are friends on MySpace, so we don't know each other, and so um, she can't do the tutorials with me, but I'm just doing the tutorials anyway. So, but we both share ideas for them. And Harper's my site partner, if you didn't know that. Okay. So, outline your person. A pretty site model. Outline it. Da, 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 da. Okay. Now, go to edit. Copy. Go to your sun vector background. Edit. Paste. Then click on this tool right here by your circle tool. And... Find where you want it to be, then go to your circle tool and make it rectangular Marquee tool, and go to the very top of where her head is, and go to image, crop, and if you don't need to do this, it's just sometimes my my picture don't doesn't work out very well. Okay, so there you have yours. Um, you can you can make her have a drop shadow and make her be stroked all that stuff um, I like her to have a drop shadow and then a little stroke don't make your drop shadow too big because then it's too distracting from the picture it doesn't look very good it's not very pretty when you do that okay and then a stroke, which it'll just have a little white stroke on the outback. Okay. Now we need to make the drop shadow bigger so we can see it more. Okay. So there, now she has a stroke. And then you can go to layer, layer style, oops, I mean layer new, click on OK. Now go to, um, you have to. drag her onto this one or not okay <laughs> um then you should be done with your sign showtime style kind of it's kind of a mixture because showtime style they have drop shadow behind the vectors and i don't have enough time to do that right now because <laughs> it's really really hard okay so then you just do the text tool and type whatever you want it to say and all that stuff okay so now i'm done bye i like turtles